Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Border Wise and welcome back to Which Canoe is the Best Canoe? Mock Tournament, the final match, fight 8 with, to the left, canoe hull number 5, the sloping forward V versus canoe hull number 3, over on the right, the gentle slopes. So last time, the smallest canoe in the whole tournament, the gentle slopes, eliminated uh, the largest canoe in the whole tournament, the sloping back V, in a spectacular comeback and rematch of Fight 2, uh, where the biggest canoe dominated the smallest. Fight 7, canoe number 3 was like, no, 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 history's not gonna repeat itself. Um, uh, I am going to run circles around you. Like, can't outrun the hex, I am invisible. Bam. So, uh, now we have... The undefeated so far, hull number five, uh, going up against uh, a canoe that was eliminated in the second fight and has managed to get its way all the way, all the way back up here by beating, like, I think literally every other canoe in the tournament. In fact, yeah, literally every other canoe. <laughs> canoe one, two, three. No, a canoe one, two, and four. Yeah, wow, amazing. Let's just let's just get into it. Like I really, this is gonna be so so much fun. So yeah, it's a three on four, roughly equivalent material cost. Let's see who wins. Let's see who wins. So we've got uh, nothing but main guns and extreme maneuverability versus spare cram mortars and a lot of just you know sheer numbers. Uh, Let's see, who came off worse there? They're both really even. Oh, looks like uh, the fight's gonna split up. Oh, looks like hull number five is gonna do trademark tactic of uh, splitting the pack. Yeah, hull number three is copping it worse. That, yeah, this is gonna be a spread out fight. Ooh boy, let's see here. I think the block redundancy and uh, just focusing on nothing but main guns is going to help uh, canoe at number 5 a lot here. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, I think this fella over here is going to cop it really bad. Yep, in fact, they're copping it really bad. Yep, just... Oh, arse got blown off. Well, almost. Yep, look at that. That's uh, yep, that's been- Whoa, most of the mortars have been taken out. Not that that makes much difference. Uh, hole number five, because of those Azabod, she's uh, pretty damn good at dodging mortars. Alright, let's focus. Uh, damn, I don't know who to focus on. Whoop, let's have a look here. I wonder what this is going to do. It's going to disable a turret completely. Yeah, I think hole number five has the advantage here. Okay, yeah, they're really- they're taking the lead health-wise. They're taking their lead health-wise quite a bit. Let's just go over and have a look at these guys, just before they go out of range. Wow, are those mortars actually... those mortars are gonna hit. Those mortars are... Okay, you should not have gone off on your own, mate. You should not have done that. Oh boy, that looks like it's gonna hurt. It isn't, actually. Looks like somebody, uh... Somebody's copped it, though. Let's see, let's see. How's your... Yeah, you're the one copping it. But over there... Let's go over here, because more of the craft over here. Good luck, mate. Let's, uh, we'll... I'm... I don't hold that much hopes that that guy's gonna survive that. Uh, he is outnumbered. Or she's outnumbered. I forget, uh... I forget what gender these canoes are supposed to be. They're ships because they're she, but... They're armed with HE, so it's a he. I don't know. That was the worst joke I've ever made. I keep topping myself in terms of terrible jokes. Was that AI dead? Nope, not quite. Oh, the, oh this dude's in trouble. This dude is in deep doo-doo, because now, now he's got not one but two giant canoes. It's like literally four times the firepower of what he's got. And whoop, no, that missed. Oh, it's splitting up now. Oh, you, oh, you big blue meanie, you're gonna finish off that guy. You're gonna finish him off. 
Finishing him off right there. Oh, this is a duel happening over here. This is a duel. That looks painful. That was painful. Engine compartment. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, let's go have a look again at this, uh, this poor fellow way, way over here. Way, way over here over the horizon because it looks like, uh, looks like she's just getting it. She's, uh, she's not having a good time. 88% health. Uh, team 1, hole number 5, still very much in the lead health-wise. Uh-oh, she's, uh, I think she's lost a few azapods. Yeah, 1, 2, no. Oh, no, it's her engines. Uh-oh, she's, oh, no. Uh-oh. She's gonna get mortared quite a lot. Ooh. Oh. Not AI dead, but it was close. This would be a very different... Whoa, okay. What are you aiming at? Whoop, out of the firing arc by the looks of it. That does look cool though. Is that gonna do anything? Uh-oh, that's bad. Oh yeah, the mortars have got their eye in with this, with this little guy. Wee, That's not good. Oh yeah, like, ooh, you lose a little bit, a little few too many azipods, you don't dodge stuff very well. Uh-oh, that's not good. Are you aiming that way? What are you doing, mate? Uh-oh, what's that gonna do? That's going to... Uh, just straight up to- Oh my god! Wow, this is the hero we didn't know we deserved! Just straight up murdered that dude, and now, like, over here... This- this fella's got his main gun disabled. Okay. You probably got detection issues, though. This fight could take a while. Let's go back and have a look. Where is the- Oh, yep, there's AI dead over there. But who- Oh, yep. Oh yeah, now, whoa, this is not, this is not looking good for team two. Hull number three, being outmatched. Yeah, I think the azopods might have been a bit much. Uh, the azopods mean that, um, uh, hull number five is by far the most maneuverable, uh, canoe in this whole tournament. And the fact that she doesn't waste any materials, uh, with cram mortars means that, uh, yeah, you can have more of her per fight, so... I guess that the lesson here is that cram mortars kind of really are not worth it. <laughs> not in this case. Not when you're dealing with craft this maneuverable. Okay, looks like uh, you've got your one gun activated. Let's see if you can make this work. Let's see if teamwork makes the dream work. My guess is that you're gonna die horribly. Yep, yep I see engine components f floating about. Yeah, wow, poor canoe hull number three. The mortars were not useful. <laughs> Damn. So yeah, like I said uh, before, I am open to tournament ideas. Probably gonna do a poll on that at some point. No idea when that will happen. I'll probably need to organize stuff. Uh, yeah, whew. Whew. Well, canoe hull number five is just like, it was two on one over there and like, just absolutely crushing it. Like over 80% health, I can see from the UI. And... Okay, yep, we've got a turret decapitation. Let's see, how's your health doing? Yeah, you are too damaged, you are going to disintegrate. Which means we've got one poor bastard way, way off in the distance. Let's just follow the cram shots. We... Is it over in that direction? Nope. It's over in this direction. Point with your guns to where the fight is. Yep, it's over there. I hear the distant siren song of gunfire. I uh, probably should turn the UI on so I don't steer in the wrong direction. Yeah, that one lot. Ooh, ooh, uh oh. That's not good. I'm gonna go as far as to say that looks. Oh my goodness! Damn! This is the first time we've seen a uh, hull number five actually get killed. Yep, AI dead. Lucky mortar. De These mortars are just like. 
like, I tend to roast them a fair amount, but... Yeah, they, like, if, you know, AP crams put hole, holes in the hull, and then a mort is in, HE mort is just kind of just casually fall down into it. So it looks like, uh... Let's see, how far away are these idiots from each other? Yeah, they got a they got a long way to go. Next dawn, when I do, we're starting way out there in the in the middle of the ocean. All right, let's follow you, and we might have to speed up time a little bit because I think uh, I think there might uh, it uh, might take a while for us to get back to where the action is, or not. Oh my god, those are actually like really on target. <laughs> Just watch the artillery fly in. Well, there's some there's some artillery. Whoa! Clipped your tail, feathers. And those plunging shots, those are gonna go straight through the deck armor like it's not even there. Yep, uh-oh. Someone's been immobilized. Or close to. Someone's gonna be steering funny. If this little dude manages to take on two of those Leviathans and win, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be very surprised. Uh, but she's only got uh, two and a half minutes in order to do it, and somehow... Somehow, I don't think she's gonna manage to... Nope, she's not. <laughs> you can already tell. Nope, that's not gonna happen. Although they are whiffing something amazing. Maybe the fact that she'll steer faster going one way or the other. Yep, that looks like... What's that gonna do? That's gonna miss. That's also going to miss. Those aren't... Oh, no, never mind. That's not gonna miss. Yep, ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. This is, a. Uh, this is, a. Uh, this is real bully boy stuff that's happening right now. This is like the worst possible matchup for a small canoe is two giant canoes. Or just two big canoes, I guess. They're not that giant. Uh, yep, ouch. Uh, not ouch. Damn, she's not giving up without a fight. She is firing them mortars, uh, which are whiffing horribly because, uh, you know, Azapod's maneuverable. I do regret that as a possible, but they give them such an advantage. And, yeah, AI dead, and uh, turret decapitation just instantly. Wow, okay, so, round one, dramatic. Full of back and forth, like, I'm amazed that that, uh, that singular hole number five managed to uh, take on two hole number threes, kill one, and almost kill the other. My goodness. Damn. I think I think I know who's gonna win this, but uh, you never know. You never know. It ain't over till the fat lady sings, and she's not singing yet. <laughs> I was about to say it's like you know I would hear your mom from here, but no, that's mean. I'm sure whoever's watching this, your mother is a lovely lady. Um, yep. So hole number three, slight material advantage, um, but still roughly even. Round two. Let's go. Let's go. Round two. So let's freeze that and let's go. Where are we? We're here. Let's rotate the camera for maximum drama. Okay, hull two. This. Uh, hull two. Round two. This might be the final round of the whole mock tourney. Let's go. Let's see. Yeah. Uh oh. Nope. We're gonna have a collision. Or not. Oh no. We're gonna. Ooh. Nope. The team one. Team 1's copped it a little bit. Oh, and they've bashed butts. Oh dear, that's a poor show, lads. Poor show. Very poor show. I remember you did that before. Yeah, they're they're going in for the kill though. Whoa. Okay. Yep. Yeah, they still got the health advantage. Whoa, that was that was a miss. It looks like it might be three on two. Uh, heading off to the right. One on one over here. Either way, not super advantageous uh, to team two. Hole number threes. That looked painful. That looked like... Yep, it's uh, sniped a barrel off. It's gotten into the engines. 
Yeah, that looked uh, that looked bad. Let's see, there's a lot of just there's just crams flying back and forth non-stop. That looked really bad though. Yep, return the favor. That might be disabled main turret. Almost disabled. Okay, nope, this is manageable. That turret still has a little bit of pepper on it. Oh, was there a hug over there? Did you two have a hug? You totally did, you over idiots. <laughs> oh dear, collisions are fun. Collisions are fun. Wow, they're circling each other like no one's business. What is this shot gonna do? It's going to miss. Yeah, there's gonna be a little duel over there, by the looks of it. Water's still not doing a hell of a lot, by the looks of it. Let's see here. Anything dramatic? Uh oh, that's bad. That looked not quite AI dead. Oh, but oh, that's absolutely ruined our detection. Absolutely ruined it. Let's see here. Yep, 89% health. Yeah, wow, this is just splitting up Hollywood style dueling non stop. Yeah, all oh, this this poor dude's getting rocked. I think actually Yeah, I think a shell just went straight in here, through the front, through the convenient giant hole. Let's see, is anyone AI dead yet? Are those mortars landing? No they are not. Yeah, this fella's just going to finish this guy off. By the looks of it. Uh oh, that looked painful. Wow, uh, team one, despite uh, having a having a motivational hug uh, that was uh, nonetheless very emotionally damaging right at the start of the round, they're holding in there. They're all above ninety percent health. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> over on team two. Only one canoe is above 90% health. Is that going to do anything? Nope, it's going to miss. That's not going to. No, it is going to miss. I lied. I lied horribly. Is everyone just dueling now? Let's go ahead and survey. Over there. Yep, there's the dudes over there just doing stuff. Here's one, somebody trying to help. And here we have a duel indeed. That looks... Yep, that looks very painful. That also looks painful. Everything looks painful. Yeah, the, the hole number three is they're copping it. They're copping it pretty bad. I think maybe even worse than, uh, than in round one. And, yep, AI dead. AI dead. There's a good night. That's all she wrote. And just smartly bringing her around. Being peppered just with some, uh, with some mortars. No biggie. No biggie. Heading over there. We've got a disintegrating canoe over here. And now... Back to where the main fight is. Yeah, I think, yeah, pretty safe to say that, yeah, the number fives have taken this. All because of the Azapods and not bothering with mortars. Um, really should have seen that coming. I think after their first, uh, their very first matchup, uh, it was kind of clear they had a big, big advantage uh, over every other canoe in the tournament. Uh-oh. Well, it's a shame the number fives don't have mortars because you would be a silly duck. You'd be a sitting duck for mortars right there. Yes, you would. Let's go check the map and see how spread out everyone is. Everyone's very, very spread out. Uh, that looks like it might hurt your feelings. Never mind, it won't. See, this is what happens uh, when you uh, decide to go crash a bang uh, into your fellow canoes. You lose your front and you lose hydrodynamics. Well, this this guy's not having much luck uh, shooting things. I think yeah, detection might be a bit damaged, just a little bit damaged. Oh, whoops! Looks like somebody phoned a friend. What are you doing? What are you doing? Wow, you are whiffing horribly. Yeah, wow. 
Why are you aiming for your friend? It's so dumb. Yeah, I think everybody's uh, lost a little bit of detection. They've, they've, they've gotten sand in the eyes, mate. Is this gonna do something? Uh-oh, that those look... Ah, they've been... Ah, interesting. This is a real brawl and slog now. Although, look who's just uh, driven in closer to fire at something point blank. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, mm -hmm. that would do it. Although, uh, you've got some problems. You need spectacles, mate. Alright, so there's only two left. Like, way over there in the distance. That fella's just committed murder out of sight. And now let's see here. Yeah, I think it's all over by the screaming. I don't really see... Yep, that looks bad. Nope, never mind. This guy, this guy's just completely blind. Let's have a little quick look at you. Let's see here. Have you gotten all your cameras shot off? By the looks of it, I would... No? What? Nope, this one in the back is still intact. Bearing rangefinder, still intact. It's all intact. Let's see here. What about... Aha! Oh yeah, that would do it. Uh, she's uh, not got a lot of processing power left. Yeah, I think that one uh, dude coming in from uh, coming in from a distance is going to be needed to help spot because somebody has been blinded a little bit. Also, uh, the canoe hull number fives need to hurry up before they run out of materials. Good. This could be... Yep. Good shot. Good shot. Maybe I should have stuck repair bots on these things. Yeah, very damaged. Actually, I wonder if... Um, if something doesn't have enough uh, general purpose processing power to see things properly, and it's got a... Uh, what do you call it? A... Uh, what do you call it? A wireless... The transmitter on it, not transmitter, what's it called? That inter vehicle transmitter, that's the one. Um, yeah, is it, uh, does it mess with the detection of everything else? Wow, this is a, this is a drawn out fight. Very drawn out. It looks like the number fives are aiming for each other. Oh my god, if you actually, you are, you stupid bastard, you friendly fire. Friendly fire, guys. Wow, if the number three hulls can actually trick uh, the number fives into shooting each other, that'd be that'd be incredible. Uh, by the looks of it, that's not going to happen though, because uh, this guy just uh, lost a fair amount of blocks, and even then, huge health advantage uh, for the number fives. Yeah, they're they're at like ninety percent. Team 2 is at like 36%. I don't really see them winning. Spread out, take it all in. Yeah, wow. Well, I think the engines have been disabled on both of the hull number 3s. Yep, one of them's disintegrating. Yep, 2 damaged. 2 damaged, there she goes. Now it's 3 on 1. <laughs> and even blind, they only have to get lucky a few times. And they're getting more than just lucky. Oh my god. That AI is so lucky, but it's not going to be lucky for long. Oh, you poor soul. Oh, you poor soul. Oh, you're dead. No, you're not. Not yet. I wonder if those guys are going to have a hug. Think they're gonna have a hug? No, they're not. Just missed each other. So now we've got three blind men trying to beat up a tiny elephant. I'm mixing my metaphors a bit. Wow. You gotta hand it to the whole number threes. They put up a good fight. They dragged this out almost until 
the very end. In fact, like, they might not actually... Well, I wonder if this little fella is going to actually survive this, because it uh, looks like all of them have a damaged AI compartments and they're not on target. Yeah, they're missing. They're just non-stop missing. Yeah, none of them are hitting. Hit right in the rangefinders, mate. Yeah, they got 20 seconds to make this a kill shot. Otherwise, uh, otherwise they're gonna have to make do. Yeah, they're gonna have to make do. Oh my god, that could have been it. Five seconds. Five seconds left, and they're about to go for the hug, and too late! But it was too little too late. Hull number five is the winner. And the winner of this whole mock tournament. Through a combination of just material efficiency, focusing on just having two main guns, uh, flat freeboard, uh, just extra blocks to tank stuff with and for extra buoyancy, as a pods for speed and maneuverability. She's won. She has taken it. Overall winner. With the runner-up uh, being the gentle slopes, being small and nimble and affordable and able to be produced in large numbers. But unfortunately, uh, she's now eliminated. There can only be one winner. Which means she must be ceremoniously canooked. Uh, that's the rules. Like, I didn't make them up, except I did. All number three, there you go, and let's go. Let's see how well you do. How well do you survive a nuking? Well, for a start, by firing your mortars in the wrong direction. Ah, what fun. Let's see here. Nukes are going wiggle, 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 wiggle. And one last canoe, just for insult to injury. And she survived. Yep, she, well. Once again, uh, if you're fast enough to just run away from nuclear weapons, apparently they just hit you in the butt and that's it. So let's uh, go have a look at our, uh, at our, at our absolute winner. Uh, and by a look at, I mean like, uh, the winner also gets ceremoniously canooked. Uh, once again, that's, uh, that's just the rules, mate. Like, you know, I didn't make up the rules, except I did. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep cracking that joke until it's funny. Look at her. She's beautiful. She's big, she's mean, she's mighty and clean. She actually has a really nice shape to her. I like this. I like this a lot. Um, but I guess this is the best overall canoe hull design. It's just uh, maximizing uh, the amount of gun uh, for minimum amount of hull, uh, but having room for fun activities like azipods. I love azipods, man. I'll never get tired of them. I think actually uh, the success of this uh, this canoe in this tournament has influenced uh, the building of my latest battleship quite a bit, the Titan Slung. Well, wow, someone's someone's gone immediately into broadside. Someone's outrunning nukes almost. Whoop! Let's not be sick. Okay. Wow. I mean, she lost a turret. Almost. Wow, she actually survived those nukes better than anybody else. Hey, look at that spare block. <laughs> she bit. She didn't actually lose any azabods from that. She lost a propeller, but uh... wow, she not only uh, did she win the whole mock tourney. Uh, but she survived the nukes the best. She's over 90% health. So with that, this mock tournament is over. This was fantastic good fun. There were canoes, there were crams, there were cram canoes, there were canoes getting crammed, and there were nuclear weapons, and that's always fun. So uh, we'll be doing proper tournaments uh, in the future with user submissions. Do let me know what you'd like to see. I'll be doing uh, polls in the future. And uh, I've got way set up already for people to submit. I'll let you know uh, close to the time. And thank you all so much for in for indulging my self-indulgence uh, with canoes and cram cannons. It has been an absolute blast. I'm looking forward to doing more things like this. So thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. And there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters, and I will see you next time in whatever real tournament I do next.
Farewell.